Hello everyone. Welcome to session 34 of Software Testing Made Easy course. In this session, we are going to continue with the live project that is part 26 of the independent software testing live project where I'm going to show you how to send an email to the client for updating him with the retesting and regression testing results. So let's get started. In the previous session, guys, I explained about retesting and regression testing. And also I showed you how to perform this retesting and regression testing as part of this live project, right? Now in this session, I'll show you how to send the email with the retesting and regression testing results that we have performed in the previous session. So let me show you the email guys that we can send to the client for updating him with these results. So here is the email guys. So we'll give the client side POC or client email address here. And you can put the people in CC like uh, your team members or your manager, test manager. Okay, I'm just writing some dummy emails here. You're working for which company? Uh, Solitic company, right? Uh, dot com. Okay, this is one email address, team member. Okay, team member uh, one. So this should be the original email ad address, guys. Here I'm taking some dummy. So how many team, you are the test lead, right? Uh, as I already explained in the previous session, let's say you are uh, working as a test, test lead here in the Solitic uh, company and you have some team below you. That is, you have some team members and on the top of you, uh, there is a test manager. Like you have to mention all these people in the CC guys while sending some emails to the client, right? You just need to remember that whatever the emails that you are sending to the client, you should put these people in CC. Your team members who are working in the same project and also your manager who is on the top of you for this particular project. You have to send us, you have to provide this email address. Now the same thing guys, Solitic is a company name that you are working for and, you, and uh, what is the status update? On which date you are sending? You are sending on 17th Jan 2021. You have to write like this. After that, hi client name. Today we have performed the below tasks on tutorials in the web application. What are the different tasks that you have performed? We have performed retesting, right? Then we performed regression testing. Then testing by exploring the application. So remaining time you spent on testing the application by exploring it. So these are the three things that you have performed. Now you can mention more details like def defects identified today. Let's say you have not identified any new defects. Okay, as part of retesting or regression testing, no new defects came. So simply if there are some defects, you have to put this kind of table guys. If uh, you have not identified any defect on a particular day, then what you can mention, you can mention this kind of text. Today, we have not found any new issues or defects, whatever it is, okay? Like this. Then retesting results, okay? You have performed retesting, right? So what are the results? So you have to mention like this. We have found that the below three defects got fixed by the developers, okay? We have found that the below three defects got fixed by the developers. We have retested them, okay? We have retested them and also their test cases also we retested, right? And changed their status accordingly. If you remember in the previous session, guys, in the previous session, I explained uh, how to retest this particular three defects, right? By executing the test associated test cases, we have to retest. So the first defect, uh, it was still reproducing. So we changed it into in progress so that developer has to still fix it, right? It's still reproducing the latest version given by the developer that is version 2.0 also it's reproducing. So when we are testing the other defect like uh, PU1I3 defect, right? So it is able, we are able to uh, this particular defect was fixed properly in the version 2.0. We have tested it and we observed that uh, the defect is not reproducing anymore in the latest version. So we have simply closed the defect. So the chapter is done guys for this particular defect. Then the next uh, defect, then the next defect is a blank contact test page is displayed on submitting the form. This particular defect also, when we retested in the latest version, given by the developer where the fix happened in that application version also, we are still reproducing the defect. Okay, still we are getting the contact bank blank contact us page. So again, we assigned it to the developers by changing the status to in progress. So this, this is how we need to send the retesting results guys. Okay, the number of defects you have retest on a particular day and uh, the description of the defects and what is the status that you have changed it to. Okay, these things you have to send. So this is how guys you need to communicate your work with the client. So let's say you only provide the defects identified then whatever the work you've done on retesting results, uh, the client will not be able to know, right? So that's why what that's why whatever the work we do on a particular day, it may be retesting, regression testing, texting uh, by exploring the application or executing the test cases, whatever the type of work you are doing, 
just need to mention in this particular status email so that client will know about what you are working on okay so he'll know your efforts if you do it properly so like this guys how many number of defects whatever the number of defects that you have retested on a particular day right by the end of the day you need to put this particular things in this kind of table defect id description of the defect and status to which you have changed the defect after retesting that particular defect okay these are the three things you have to mention then also you perform the regression testing right uh, we can mention that we have is good at the test cases of the existing functionalities as part of regression testing what we have to do guys we have to retest the test cases related to the ex existing functionality on the latest version of the application so you can write that if you want to describe it more you can describe we have executed the test case of the existing functionalities in the latest version version that is version which version guys 2.0 of the application and no, and have not found any de new defects that means there are no side effects if regression testing is successful means this defects this particular fixed defects that is change, changing of the code happened because of the fixed defects right those fixes have not introduced any side effects in the existing functionalities of the application if there are any other existing functionalities which are breaking because of this defect fixes because of the side effects of this fixing of these defects then you can mention those uh, problems here right the as part of the new defects or you can mention the defect ids which you have observed which were not uh, observed earlier and which are observed in the latest version because of this code changes in the uh, defects right so like that guys this all depends on how you send the emails okay so whatever the possible we have to communicate in a better way that's it okay this is how i communicate guys so it's up to you how better you want to communicate you can improvise this email it's not a template okay this can be customized according to your needs fine so and also guys as part of regression testing we have to retest the existing functionalities in the latest version right we have to retest the test cases of the existing functionalities in the latest version and uh, whatever the test case document we have used for regre performing regression testing right we can enclose that in this email okay refer enclose the test cases document for results this is the document having the results that is regression testing results where we have not identified any new defects because of the defect fixes fine so then we are done with the email guys and at the end we can simply mention task plan for tomorrow we'll continue testing the application by exploring it since uh, uh since we have version 2.0 right until we get the next version until we get more defects fixed and given by the developer in the latest version right that is upcoming version like version 3.0 something like that what we have to do we have we should not be wasting time right we will continue testing the application by exploring it we can explore the application and try to find more defects until we get the latest version so until we receive the new or new build or version of the application we can continue testing the application by just exploring it and also we can also say that uh, we will perform any task received over email by tomorrow okay so by by tomorrow you reach uh, after sending this email you will go home right and you will again come to the office by tomorrow morning then so what you will do guys okay so again what will be the task for tomorrow by the time you reach mon uh, tomorrow morning right whatever the emails you will get from the client as part of uh, some testing activities right accordingly you will plan your testing okay if you get don't get any emails from the client you will simply perform the uh, testing by exploring the application until you receive the latest version or if you get some emails according to the email you will perform the testing so diplomatically we have written the two lines guys that's it so this is how we need to draft the emails guys okay so whenever you get something like specifically like retesting results or regression testing right you need to include this kind of things along with that you may also find some new defects also that also you can mention here here i didn't focus much because uh, we didn't get any more defects after right after uh, after sending the previous status update email uh, and uh, this update email in between we didn't get any other new defects that's why today we have not found any new defects i mentioned so hope guys you understood how to send uh, uh emails containing the retesting and regression testing results to the client so that's it guys see you in the next session thank you bye